When His Majesty Stanislav August Ponatowski woke up in his royal bed on the 3rd of May, 1791, he didn't know yet that this day would be marked in history. As the king of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, he was trying to strengthen the state by initiating various reforms. However, most of his ideas were rejected by the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth's parliament. The same. Why did the state need reforms? because it was weakened by foreign powers and internal disputes. The Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth emerged in 1569, when the Grand Duchy of Lithuania and the Kingdom of Poland were united. It was one of the largest countries at that time, covering the current territories of Belarus, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, and part of Ukraine. It is no surprise that neighboring countries were in conflict with this state. Seeing a chance, Austria, Russia, and Prussia invaded it for the first time in 1772. What a shameful day. I have no choice but to accept the Treaty of Session and give up almost a third of our territory. We must take action! The great same gathered. The king with the nation. The nation with the king! Understanding the threats to statehood, the same was trying to find the means to reform and strengthen the state politically and economically. On the 3rd of May, 1791, every nobleman, citizen, and peasant of the state were alert. The discussion at the same lasted for seven hours, and in the evening... Long live the king! Long live the Constitution! Yay! After the Constitution was adopted, Ponatowski didn't sleep well. The nobility didn't want to give up their privileges. But the new legislative document was welcomed by ordinary citizens and those who understood that the country needed change to survive. It reformed the governing principles and protected the rights of the citizens. Although the Constitution was in force for less than 15 months, it remains a unique example of pioneering political thought from that time. Ideas stated in the Constitution continued to inspire future generations that led Lithuania and Poland to independence in 1918.